In this video, I'm going to show you how to write off a bad debt on Xero. So the first step is to log into your Xero account and then head to the dashboard. Once you're there, you can either select business over in this section, give it a click, and then select invoices. Now I'm just going to open this in a new tab real quick. And from here, we're just going to select awaiting payment to see a list of all the unpaid invoices we have on our account. And as you can see, we have the ones that are uh, overdue or the ones that are that are still awaiting payment, but is still beyond or uh, still hasn't reached the due date. Now, alternatively, from our dashboard, we can also just look for the invoice owed to you section right here. If we give that a click, it should take us to the sales overview. And if we click on see all right beside invoices, then we should be greeted with the same uh, menu we saw a while ago over here. Now from here, we're just going to click on again, awaiting payment and then select the invoice in question for the bad debt. So for example, we have a uh, city limousines. Let's say that this uh, company or uh, business has run out or they've closed down and they have an overdue payment with us. So what we're going to do is write off this invoice as a bad debt. Now to do that, we're just going to open the invoice and we should able to see the details of the invoice. We can see that its status is also awaiting payment. From here, we're just going to click on the three dots right on the top right section of the screen. And then we're going to look for create and apply credit and give that a click. Now this will allow us to edit the invoice. From here, I'm just going to change the reference into uh, bad debt write off just to serve as a uh, indicator. And then from here, we're going to have to change the account over in this field. Now, currently it says sales, but what we're going to try to change it into is uh, the bad debt code. So this can depend on what you have in your business account. The code can differ depending on your business. And we're just going to ensure that the tax rate is the same as what we should have on the original invoice. So we're going to change it into tax on purchases. So as soon as all the other details are accurate, you've written off a reference, then you've added uh, or you've changed the account into bad debt. We can already go ahead and click on approve. And this uh, overdue invoice will now be written off as a bad debt on our account. And that's about it. That's how you write off a bad debt on Zero. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below. And I'll do my best to help you out.